crypto, the notion that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler is quitting, has swept Twitter. John Deaton, an attorney who is in favor of excerpt, has responded on the speculation suggesting that a resignation from Gensler is probable. Supporter of Exarp and attorney John Deaton commented on reports that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler will be resigning. Deaton thinks it's likely that SEC Chair Gensler would retire for political reasons, even if news of his departure is still only a rumor. As a friend of the court, in the case between the SEC and Ripple, attorney John Deaton speculates that SEC Chair Gary Gensler may retire shortly. A rumor about the agency chair's position was circulating on crypto Twitter, and Deaton addressed it. Deaton claims that the SEC's recent crackdown on cryptocurrency exchanges and initiatives in the ecosystem may lead to Gensler's departure before of the forthcoming election. For nearly two years, the CEAS has been involved in a legal struggle with Ripple, two of the main exchanges in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, Binance and Coinbase, have been sued by the banking regulator. Almost half a hundred cryptocurrencies were deemed securities by the regulator in the case, meaning the exchanges were facilitating the trading of unregistered securities. In the SEC EVs, Ripple lawsuit excerpt investors are awaiting a ruling. According to Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple Labs, the summary decision in the matter from Judge Annalisa Torres is due in September. A verdict in the SEC VVs. Ripple litigation is expected by August 10, according to pro excerpt attorney Fred Rispoli. Rispoli figured this out by looking at the frequency with which Judge Torres issued summary decisions. At the time of this Monday's writing, the cryptocurrency was trading at 4,810 cents, having maintained above that level. Investors in XRP are keeping a close eye on the lawsuit and Ripple's future moves as the cryptocurrency continues its encouraging upward trajectory. A pro XRP legal expert has provided further arguments in favor of the blockchain company's side of the legal struggle as the cryptocurrency sector excitedly awaits the outcome of the case launched by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, CE against Ripple. On July 2, attorney Bill Morgan asked in a tweet, if Ripple did anything nefarious or even illegal besides selling unregistered securities, why the regulator filed no injunction at all? He was part of a discussion that included prominent excerpt community member, Mr. Huber, and former SEC enforcement lawyer Mark Fagel. What, he continued, was the purpose of safeguarding investors if, years after a case is filed, Ripple is free to pursue what the SEC deems to be obviously unlawful and detrimental acts to investors. For the protection of investors, shouldn't the SEC have at least considered filing for this? And he said, the SEC would need to show how there is an investment contract when ODAL customers who don't invest in the token and don't expect profits transacts the XRP within seconds for fast, cheap cross-border payments not investments. According to him, in light of Judge Annalisa Torres' summary judgment decision in the sexy V's, Ripple litigation crypto law's founding attorney John Deaton took to Twitter to discuss the implications of the ruling. After seeing a tweet from prominent Bitcoin YouTuber Scott Melker, attorney Deaton made the comment in response. Today, Melker tweeted that if the American people don't push back against the sex overreach, just four cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, BC, Ethereum, ETH, Litecoin, Cash, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin Cash, Baichi, and Bitcoin Cash, will be available to trade on exchanges controlled by Wall Street. Melker brought up the four crypto assets since sex share Gary Gensler, had previously classified them as commodities while classifying other tokens as securities. According to Melker, the X exchange supported by Wall Street heavyweights like as Fidelity Digital Investments, Charles Schwab, and Citadel Securities solely trades these four digital currencies. In response, attorney Deaton tweeted that the post made the ruling by Judge Torres even more consequential. He elaborated that if the court rules against excerpt, it would be status quo and give those who are fighting crypto, like as Gensler, Warren Buffett, and Rep. Brad Sherman, greater political clout. Deaton, however, said that the whole market and all crypto assets will benefit from a positive verdict for Exerprom. From Judge Torres. 
Meanwhile, the SEC has maintained its position that it has authority over all facets of the cryptocurrency industry. All crypto assets outside of Bitcoin are securities, Gensler said. As was previously reported, as a result of his statement, the SEC has begun a massive crackdown on crypto-related firms, charging them with breaking securities laws. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, filed charges against Coinbase and Binance last month for allegedly promoting the trade of unregistered securities such as ADA, Sol, Matic, and Algo. You may recall that the SEC has asserted that Exerp is a security, making secondary market trading of the currency suspect. In particular, the question of whether or not Exerp sales on the secondary market constitute securities will be decided by Judge Torres. The judge's decision on whether or not XRP is a security would set a precedent that might weaken the SEC's grip on the market. Therefore, other token issuers may use this judgment as support for their claims that their tokens are not securities. Members of the XRP community have been asking a variety of concerns about the SEC's EVs. Ripple case as it nears its conclusion. The XRP community is interested not just in when the litigation will conclude, but also in how Judge Torres will announce the verdict. In his most recent crypto law podcast, John Deaton, the creator and a practicing attorney, addressed this very issue. Attorney Deaton denied that Judge Torres would keep Seek and Ripple in the dark about her summary judgment ruling. Many are curious as to the method of communicating this e summary judgment ruling. Is she going to inform Ripple and the SEC by phone? No. No way, Deaton was said to have said. An attorney who supports Exerp claimed that Judge Torres will give a summary judgment on the open case file. Deaton claims that, like the court's earlier findings in the case, including Judge Torres' decision on the Dauber expert motion, this one will be made public. We are going to get the filings in the public docket just like we did the Jet the Heinemann's emails and other rulings, said Deaton. He further clarified that the announcement of the decisions will be made simultaneously. The creator of CryptoLaw, however, said that the judgment will be sent to the attorneys representing Ripple and the SEC. Deaton emphasized that the parties to the case may hear of the decision through email a few minutes before the general public does. Moreover, according to Deaton, the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York often hears cases involving the financial sector and is thus familiar with the ways in which sensitive information is used for illegal insider trading. The court will make sure the ultimate conclusion in the sex EVs. Ripple dispute remains a closely guarded secret because of the risk of insider trading posed by such a finding. Therefore, according to Deaton, no one will know the ruling's contents until it is officially submitted with the court. Notably, Deaton's attorney has published a webcast answering some questions about the case's conclusion. Yesterday, it was stated that Deaton assumed that the losers in summary judgment would file an appeal. He even suggested the Supreme Court may hear the issue.